This is an instructional video on the compression test for the sacroiliac joint. What is the sacroiliac joint? The SI joint is the joint in the bony pelvis between the sacrum and the ilium. The sacrum and the ilium are held together by a collection of strong ligaments on the anterior side of the joints and the posterior side of the joints. There are two SI joints in the human body, one on the left and one on the right. The SI joint is a strong weight-bearing synovial joint with minimal movement in non-weight-bearing and even less movement with weight-bearing. Compression test of the SI joint. The compression test of the SI joint is a pain provocation test. This test approximates the anterior SI joints and gaps the posterior SI joints, stretching the posterior SI joint ligaments. The compression test is often tested with other provocation tests such as distraction tests of the SI joint, thigh thrust test, Gainsland's test, sacral thrust test, and Faber's test. A positive test finding is with reproduction of the patient's unilateral or bilateral SI joint pain. A negative test finding is no reproduction of the patient's symptoms. With these pain provocation tests, you need at least three positive test findings to diagnose SI joint dysfunction. Indications for the compression tests of the SI joint include patients with SI joint pain, low back pain, or lower extremity issues, to help identify areas requiring further evaluation, to stress joint capsule, ligaments, muscle, and soft tissue around the SI joint, and to screen to clear the joint. Contraindications for the compression test include recent fracture in the area, such as fracture in the sacrum or the ilium. A precaution to be careful of is if the patient has severe osteoporosis. In order to perform the compression test of the SI joint, the physical therapist will perform the following procedure. Step one, place the patient in side lying on the table facing away from the physical therapist. Step two, put a pillow between pa the patient's knees for comfort. Step three, the PT places their hand on the outside of the pelvis on the anterior and lateral aspect with one hand over the other and elbows straight. Step four, the PT applies a steady force directly downward through the anterior aspect of the lateral ilium, providing lateral compression force across the SI joints. Step five, the PT asks the patient how they feel. If pain is provoked, ask the patient where pain is felt and if the pain is the same as the symptoms that they came in for. A positive compression test is reproduction of the pain symptoms. Evaluating the results of a compression test of the SI joint. Positive compression test findings may indicate the following. Soft tissue sprain of the SI ligaments, SI joint irritation, or help locate the lesion of the SI joint dysfunction. Other information obtained from the test include the end feel, whether it's soft, firm, hard, or abnormal, and the pain and resistance sequence to determine acuity. The sensitivity of this test is 19%, whereas the specificity is 100%. This test has strong predictive value for ruling in SI joint pathology with a positive finding. Hi Ross. Hi. I'm Kat and you're PT. Okay. Nice to meet you. So I run your chart that you're having some SI um, joint pain right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to instruct you on how to perform an SI compression test. And what this is, is a pain provocation test and it helps me to um, see if this truly is an SI dysfunction and helps me better localize where the SI dysfunction is. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be applying a force directly on the um, anterior lateral aspect of the ilium, which is right here. And so it's gonna be above the greater trochanter and below the iliac crest. And so what this is thought to do is to help approximate the anterior SI joint right here, and that actually provides a stretch right on the posterior ligaments right here of the posterior SI joints. And so a positive um, SI compression test would be for um, the patient to 
feel their symptoms or their pain um, once the pressure is, is applied. So what I'm going to do is have you lie on your right side. You're going to be facing away from me. And then you can place a pillow in between your legs. And that's for patient comfort. Okay. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one hand on the anterior lateral aspect of the ilium, right here. And then I'm going to place the other hand right on top. And so I need to keep um, straight arms, and then I'm going to be applying a force directly downwards. So just like that. And then I'll show you one more time. So straight down. All right, and now did you have any symptoms with that? Yeah. You did? Okay. Um, and if your patient does not have any symptoms, you can also perform it a couple other times just to make sure. So um, where exactly did you feel that? Uh, right back. Right back here by my ass right Okay. Yeah. And was that pain? Yeah. Okay. And was that the same pain that you felt when you walked into the clinic today? Yes. It was. Okay. So that would be a positive SI compression test. Thank you for watching our video on how to perform a compression test of the SI joint.